On the 19th of September, we remember Saint Januarius, also known as Januarius the First of Benevento, who was Bishop of Benevento and is a martyr and saint of the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church. While no contemporary sources on his life are preserved, later sources and legends claim that he died during the Great Persecution, which ended with Diocletian's retirement in 305. Januarius is the patron saint of Naples, where the faithful gather three times a year in Naples Cathedral to witness the liquefaction of what is claimed to be a sample of his blood kept in a sealed glass vial. Little is known about the life of Januarius. He is believed to have been martyred in the Emperor Diocletian's persecution of 305. Legend has it that Januarius and his companions were thrown to the bears in the amphitheatre of Pozzoli, but the animals failed to attack them. They were then beheaded, and Januarius's blood ultimately brought to Naples. According to various hagiographies, Januarius was born in Benevento to a rich patrician family that traced its descent to the Caudini tribe of the Samanites. At a young age of 15, he became a local priest of his parish in Benevento, which at that time was relatively pagan. When Januarius was 20, he became Bishop of Naples and befriended Juliana of Nicomedia and Saint Sosius, whom he met during his priestly studies. During the one and a half year long persecution of Christians by Emperor Diocletian, he hid his fellow Christians and prevented them from being caught. Unfortunately, while visiting Sosius in jail, he too was arrested. He and his colleagues were condemned to be thrown to wild bears in the Flavian Amphitheatre at Pozzoli, but the sentence was changed due to fear of public disturbances, and they were instead beheaded at the Solfatara crater near Pozzoli. Other legends state either that the wild beasts refused to eat them or that he was thrown into a furnace but came out unscathed. St. Januarius is famous for the miracle of the annual liquefaction of his blood, which according to legend was saved by a woman named Eusebia just after the saint's death. A chronicle of Naples written in 1382 describes the cult of St. Januarius in detail, but mentions neither the relic nor the miracle. The first certain date is 1389, when it was found to have melted. Then, over the following two and a half centuries, official reports began to appear, declaring that the blood spontaneously melted at first once a year, then twice, and finally three times a year. While the report of the very first incident of liquefaction did not make any explicit reference to the skull of the saint, Soon afterwards, assertions began to appear that the relic was activating the melting process, as if the blood, recognizing a part of the body to which it belonged, were impatient while waiting for its resurrection. This explanation was definitively abandoned only in the 18th century. The following excerpt from the Catholic Encyclopedia states the following. A dark mass that half fills a sealed four-inch glass container and is preserved in a double reliquary in the Naples Cathedral as the blood of St. Januarius liquefies 18 times during the year. Various experiments have been applied, but the phenomenon eludes natural explanation. Thousands of people assemble to witness this event in Naples Cathedral three times a year on September 19th St. Januarius' Day commemorating his martyrdom, on December 16th celebrating his patronage of Naples and its archdiocese, and on the Saturday before the first Sunday of May commemorating the reunification of his relics. The blood is also said to spontaneously liquefy at certain other times such as papal visits. Placing all our petitions before St. Januarius today, let us pray. O God, who grant us to venerate the memory of the martyr St. Januarius, give us, we pray, the joy of his company and blessed happiness for all eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.